What's going on everyone? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and today we're going to be looking at the new Fortnite update. Now as you know, this is the biggest update they've ever had. The map update is coming, but there's also a lot of extra stuff. Now everyone is covering the map and exactly what's going on with that, but I want to cover more of the things that they fixed, more of the things they've taken out, more of the things that they've added. That's what I want to talk about more than anything because you're going to get an overload of the map and the map is very awesome and amazing and the left side of it, now the west side of it looks totally different and it's going to have so many more spots i think there's 11 new spots that they're going to have on the map not including the little bitty huts and everything else spread throughout the map but let's go ahead and take a look at the patch notes as they are coming into this one so basically they're saying the new season is starting soon and if you want to get a free five tier head start season three all you gotta do is purchase season two battle pass so that's pretty cool that you can go ahead and get a head start on that now i'm gonna buy every single season so it's not gonna matter to me but if you're just getting started that would be a good uh, thing for you to go ahead and jump in on that and I'm looking forward to seeing what they add to because this game has been amazing when it comes to updates It's been amazing when it comes to cosmetics has been amazing all the way around and I can't tell you How excited I am for this new map update number one and the things that they just fixed for this and that's what we're going to talk about So as I said in one of my update videos last week or two weeks ago I said that the scoped AR was probably gonna be taken out of the supply drop and it is they have confirmed it It's removing the scoped AR from the supply drops, which is Jesus goodness gracious. I no one picked those things up. I left them always there. I might have tried to trap some of them, but for the most part, I was not picking up a scoped AR to save my life. Now, what they did do with the scoped AR, they did update it a little bit. They changed the reticle. They changed it where you can actually see when you're aiming down sights and you can see where your crosshair actually is. That's really nice. Now, the snowball launcher also is getting replaced by the normal grenade launcher. They did update for that for the Christmas update, but now they're changing that. Also increasing the size of grenades on the actual game as well. And they are fixing a couple of things with the smoke grenade and then also the boogie bomb. Now, I haven't been using the boogie bomb a lot. It's not in my top five things to keep. And when I changed it from 10 seconds to 5 seconds, I didn't really use it just because it was something that I don't know if I was ever going to use when it comes to squad gameplay. I've been playing a lot of squads. And then duos too. It just seems like it's kind of irrelevant now that it's kind of, I don't know, overused at times. So I basically haven't been picking it up much, but they are making a couple new changes where the explosion effects now play uh, properly on water surfaces, etc., etc. But one of the big things to do is friendly fire is now disabled. This is huge because I thought it brought a lot of clips. I thought it was really funny when you would shoot one of your um, players on your team, whether you're in duos, squads, or whatever. So I really like that. I don't know. Uh, they said they're gonna just temporarily look at it and see how it goes, but I'm gonna say that I am in favor of taking you know where you can shoot your friends back into the game and keep it where if i'm jumping off of a ledge from 50 feet and i throw 14 grenades and a rocket launcher at you that you don't take damage that seems a little weird and op so i don't really want that in the game so they did change that and uh we'll go ahead and talk about the rest of the stuff now the chests aren't going to block you when you're trying to build. I know that was something that we even ran into yesterday when playing squads. There was a chest in the way and we couldn't build a stair there because there was a chest just in the way. And now I think that when you build on top of it, they will disappear just like in hay bale or anything else. And one of the most annoying things in the game from day one was the corn stalks that were there. They are now destroyed upon taking any type of damage. So that's really nice and I really like that. Also, they fixed the bug where if someone died and they had loot on their body and you went over to pick it up and it wouldn't pick up and you had to destroy everything around them, they went ahead and fixed that, which is going to be really nice. And uh, that was just really annoying when you kill somebody and you're trying to pick up loot quick and then go on to the next person. You had to go back and you think that your E button stuck. It was just, it's just a mess. So I'm glad they fixed that as well. Also, we had problems. We were doing the Skybreaks Challenge and we would put down a launch pad. And as we... Uh, we're about to have our bridge broken. We jumped off the launch pad, but our uh, Glider wasn't deploying and then when it did deploy it was sideways So I'll show you a little clip of that, but it was kind of crazy and they fixed that as well And so that's gonna be really really nice also as a player You're gonna be able to interact with the grass and it's just gonna add a different feel to the game Which I really like so when you run through the grass, it's gonna move and stuff like that So that's gonna be nice as well and uh, shipping containers with the metals We have been complaining about that from day one that if you break one of those things you get like 20 metal now They're gonna increase that of course, so that's gonna help out too I saw a lot of streamers complaining about that too because it took you so long to break down those metal crates and you really didn't get much out of it and if you broke down 
down one of the like wooden pallets, you would get like 50, 60, 70 wood every time you broke one of those things down. So it just didn't make any sense. So I'm glad that they are fixing that. Now, one of the coolest updates that I've seen that they put in the patch notes and they kind of stuck it in the middle here is that they actually said that they're going to add the meters in which you get a sniper kill with. So if you kill someone at 400 meters, it's gonna show Deluxe 4 killed salty player at 400 meters with a sniper rifle. So that's gonna be freaking amazing. That's what everyone's gonna be looking at, especially when the montages and little things like that, that's gonna be cool. And you can have a personal best. I'm guessing they're gonna throw that in the stats as well, the longest you know, killed player from a sniper rifle or whatever might be near my your highest might be 500 meters or whatever and someone else might be 600 and y'all can kind of debate about that so that's gonna be really really cool also something that was really simple and this has been a couple of updates before and you've probably seen these on some of my videos if you go to pick up someone at the same time as another one of your friends then there will be a little halo ring above their name uh, when they're running and also on the left side in the little uh, box you would see a little halo ring so they got rid of that as well and then one of the biggest things that me and my friends throughout the years have had the biggest problem with is voice chat so a lot of games took out voice chat in lobbies because they didn't want other players harassing each other and then when other games like CSGO took that out where you couldn't talk to other people and Call of Duty basically did that when they switched over to the Xbox One. Now you're going to have voice chat in the lobby so it's going to create some type of cancer and also some cool interactions that might be like a, a lead off clip for you if you're a YouTuber or whatnot. It's just something a little bit different which I really like that they're doing as well. Maybe you could talk to people in game next. We'll see how that works out but I'm excited about it. I mean they had the new map and they had all these adjustments and I think Fortnite is nothing but going straight up and uh, I hope you guys are here with me as I continue to play Fortnite. I continue to put out solo, duo, squads, update videos and try to give you something here and there a little bit different from my normal content. But I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have been nothing but positive towards me the last few months and I have to say thank you. Thank you to the Fortnite community. Thank you to Epic Games. Thank you to everyone that has been in my channel at one point in time maybe you're coming back from a couple years break from my channel when i used to play call of duty or whatnot but i thank you guys so much um, for all that you do if you would leave some support on this video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out